This channel does not promote or encourage any illegal activities. All contents provided by this channel is meant for educational purpose only. Hey friends, welcome to Go Help Yourself. Ignore the ums in the following video. I was kind of going off the top of my head besides the notes, so enjoy. What's up friends, welcome to Go Help Yourself. I am John and thank you for tuning in to this channel. Um, big thank you to all my subscribers and uh, there's something that I wanted to talk about um, that is a very interesting topic to me, uh, something that I've been involved with for the past couple of years, uh, almost, let's see, probably about three years now, is um, psilocybin. Now, it's also known as you know, shrooms or magic mushrooms, but um, there's something that's very interesting with microdosing psilocybin. There's a ton of benefits. Uh, it's, uh, it could be really great for the brain. Um, so I just wanted to talk about it a little bit. I don't see anybody else talking about this uh, on YouTube. I've seen quite a bit on Reddit and things like that, but uh, no videos relating psilocybin and uh, spinal cord injuries. So I thought that was pretty interesting, but I'd like to uh, definitely uh, shed some light on this. So it's very interesting. Um, psilocybin, uh, when I first tried it after uh, my spinal cord injury, I took uh, one gram, which seemed to be too much. and it induced spasms, which is very crazy. My, my legs were going crazy. I was getting spasms in my core. It was very interesting to see that. And uh, um, they were pretty intense. So I did more research, research on it over the years and I found out that microdosing, uh, taking very small amounts every day can have benefits, uh, whether, ha whether you have a spinal cord injury or not. So um, when I first started microdosing, my body, seem to have to get used to it. Like the first couple weeks I had pretty, um, not intense spasms, but um, definitely uh, getting noticeable spasms in my legs and in my core and my hands. Um, originally I don't have spasms in my arms, so I wasn't getting spasms in my arms. And I don't, compared to some people, I don't have real intense spasms. So it might cause some uh, more intense spasms to others that have, you know, spasms without the psilocybin. But I've noticed a ton of different health benefits, especially uh, relating to the brain. Um, so I've, I've done quite a bit of research on it over the past few years. And this is the third year I've microdosed in the summer. And I'm talking about like just the size of like half of your pinky nail, like very small amount. Um, I've noticed um, that uh, I, I really am focused on my surroundings and I can con concentrate on my surroundings. Um, I appreciate moments more, I've noticed that. And uh, I definitely have improved mood and there's tons of research on it that uh, psilocybin microdosing it can actually um, cure, well, not necessarily cure depression, but there's a lot of research shown that it can improve a lot uh, with individuals with depression. Um, it essentially can reset the brain, um, cause a bunch of new uh, connections in the brain, uh, synapses, new neural pathways, um, help with all the neurons in the body. And, and there's uh, different, uh, there's a lot of different neurons in different uh, parts of the body. You've got the, uh, let's see here. So uh, I did a little bit of research, so I just gotta think here. So we have our uh, central nervous system. Uh, our brain has neuro neurons in it. Our central ner ner nervous system has neurons. And then from there, it branches out to the peripheral nervous system. And that also has neurons. And, uh, and then from there, you got the somatic nervous system and uh, let's see, the autonomic nervous system. And that might sound familiar to someone with a spinal cord injury, autonomic dysreflexia. So that's uh, the nervous system that gets affected when you actually experience that. But so let's go back to my personal experience. Um, it's been absolutely awesome for me. Uh, during, it has improved my workouts. I seem to have more energy, 
um, and for some reason it doesn't seem to uh, it seems to help with lactic acid buildup so you know how uh, you work out uh, real intense and at a certain point you get the burning in the muscles and that's lactic acid um, it seems to uh, help a lot with that like it takes longer for the lactic acid to build up and uh, I have more energy during workouts, so I wrote a lot of the stuff down here. Uh, like I said, I can concentrate on my surroundings better, but I can also concentrate on tasks better. Um, let's see. Um, yeah, those are most of the things. Um, oh, also uh, visual acuity. Like I'm able to focus on objects farther away better uh, now, this is just from my personal experience. Let me know if anyone else can experience these, these, these things or if you do have a spinal cord injury. I'm really interested in hearing uh, what you have to say about psilocybin. But um, I don't know. I recommend it. Like, I recommend taking microdoses. I think that it can really benefit uh, you with a spinal cord injury. Uh, the only negative effect that I see on it is uh, increased muscle spasms. So um, everybody's different though. So let me know if you do or have taken psilocybin, but I just wanted to shed some light on it because I think it's extremely important uh, pertaining to depression. If I mean, of course, with a spinal cord injury, especially in the beginning, it comes with depression and I think it can really help, but I'll leave some links below on uh, some studies that John Hopkins have done and Yale has done on psilocybin. And it's really interesting. I've watched also podcasts where people have had brain damage from MMA fighting, uh, the NFL, and they've taken psilocybin and it's really helped them. So it's amazing what it can do for the brain. But yeah, let me know what you think. And uh, thanks for watching. Stay strong. Stay active, stay creative, go help yourself, friends, over and out.